the familiar voice. Rena, let me remind you, this is my ex-girlfriend who left me because she prefers Mercedes seat for her butt. No one's with her. Oh, I never thought you'd be in this kind of place. I thought you are in the corner of your room, hugging your knees because we broke up that day. Who's this annoying girl? Her makeup's so thick, I think I can bury myself in her face. Scary. Am I right, guys? Am I right, guys? Thick makeup, I can bury myself in her face. I'd ever have that thought. Right? Right, fellas? You would ever think that. In a million years, yeah. Well, excuse me, who are you guys anyway? If you're looking for trouble, get out of here. Oh, being single is lonely. Hmm? Look, you even bring your neighbors here to keep you company. Damn it. When did she turn into such a bitch? Who is this, miss? She's my ex. We're on a different path now. She's becoming plump. Her new boyfriend must feed her like a cow. She looks thinner when she was with me. You're... There's nothing to be said of pulled the high ground, is there? No, you're not going to even pretend to take the high road? We just broke up yesterday. Ah, that's right. That means you cheated me. No wonder you get fat all of a sudden. I'm not fat, huh? No use talking to you, hillbillies. Bye now. I hope you rot as a single guy. You broke. Then... Who's single? Who's she talking about, darling? This is trash. This is garbage. The slap landed on Rena's face. And I turned pale. Of course, it's because Remy snaps on all of a sudden. You got a fucking bad mouth for a woman. Ryzen knows where this is going. Whenever Remy's mad, she won't bother to think. Remy, stop it. Shut up. Her mouth could use some cleaning. Remy takes the knife in her pocket. Okay. Remy take. All right, we're back in it now. Holy shit, that was getting real. That was getting real dry for a while. Now a knife came out. Let's do this. Hey, what's with the knife? Remy, put it down. Seven, help me out. We struggle to stop Remy. Rena looks trembling after all that. At that time, her eyes met Sarah's. Aren't you? Sarah quickly hide behind me. Hey, this is the one billion girl? How'd she end up with you? I feel like the world stopped moving when I hear Rena's words. We've been found out. Ooh, aren't you Sarah? The one billion girl, Sarah? Crap, she said it loudly so everyone here will find out about her. The crowd around us were becoming slowly, just like zombies looking for a brain to eat. This isn't good. We're out of here. I carried Sarah on my back and ran as fast as possible. Come on, you old hag, this isn't over yet. Ah, uh, no one got stabbed? Uh, the four of us trying to get away from those zombies hungry for money. The news spread so quickly, everyone outside the soda stall seems to know everything now. Okay, it looks like we must go through this the hard way. Ha ha ha, why are you panting like that? I carried you, but before that I ran by myself. You gotta do something about that weak body of yours. Shut up. Humans aren't created to do something as barbaric as running. Instead, God created us with a brain so we can think about how we can get to our destination without having to run. I think I'm having deja vu. You said that once. Is that so? Now time to listen to their endless debate. I'm focusing myself on how we can escape the situation. We will lure them. Will you escape? Remini suddenly said that. You bring Sarah to the destination and we'll lure them away. You sure about this? But how? Can I borrow your jacket? Okay. Sarah's obediently given the sister's jacket. It's too small for Remy, but she's wearing it anyway. After that, she covers her body with an old sheet we found. Ryzen will carry me, but I'm sure they won't notice the difference with this sheet. So in the end, I will be the one luring them? Of course. You're taller than her. They'll notice me. They will notice right away. I will curl my body. You have to carry me in your arms just like the prince and a princess. Got it? I need to spend extra energy that way. I know. Ryzen, you better give up. It's not like you can ignore what she said anyway. Thanks. If I get the reward, don't. Eh? You don't have to take the reward, believe me. But why? Ah, they're coming. Come on, Ryzen. Onwards. 
Anyway, isn't it easier to just carry some lighter things and lure them away somewhere else? I won't carry me. And so in the end, you just want me to carry you. Hey, I can still lure them away if I'm tired. Now go. I can't lure them away. Yeah, run into the crowd. I believe in you guys was a bad idea after all. Why is that? You said you will lure them away somewhere, but why are you running to running to our direction? Hey, come on! You told us to run through that bloodless crowd, wanting one billion. We'd be dead instantly. Yeah, after all, they already know that Sarah's with you. Um, I was wrong to believe that these two clowns in the first place. Evan, hand me that girl and you'll be safe. Rita is following us with her boyfriend in the sports car. I kept running with Sarah on my back, ignoring Rena. Ryzen, stop, stop now. You want to die? Why do we have to run? They're after Brother Seven and Sarah. That's right. You traitor. Remy came down from the Raisin's arms as stopped the crowd with her one hand. Is she playing police now? Everybody stop right now. Everyone stopped all of a sudden. Remy took her cell phone and making a call. I kept running away with Sarah. It seems like I can I can trust them after all. Sorry guys, I'll go first. Remy, who's full of herself, stops in front of the crowd. Uh, what's going on here? She's just a girl. Go trample her. Uh, miss, if she's this confident to stop us all, she must have some kind of a weapon or perhaps something scary. Some lousy act. Chase them away. Oh yeah, behind us. There are 40 guys from the Sabbath gang ready to take you on. Still want to chase them? Bison just realized the fact. He knew all along that Remy is the daughter of the Sabbath gang leader. Well, Sabbath gang isn't actually a real gang of mobs or something. It's just a company providing bodyguards for hire. But the rumors are made that the company sounds like the rival of the Kappa gang. Also, there are more than a hundred guys from the Kapok gang behind us wanting the money as well. You want to go forward? Face the 40 Scythe gang elites waiting to slaughter you? You want to go back? Ah ha kee ha ha. Stop that laugh, it's scary. Rena didn't believe all that. She's mad because of what Remy and Seven did at the mall back then. Then she shouted from her boyfriend's car. That's a lie, I'm not buying it. After Rena said that, 40 men appeared behind Remy and Ryzen. They all carried all sorts of weapons, from guns to blades. The crowd turned pale all of a sudden. Still don't believe me? Remy was smiling as if she was holding a royal straight flush in her hands. What? Rena seemed a bit scared now. A few minutes later, dozens of men in black were marching to Remy and Ryzen. What am I even reading now? What are you... So they chased... They chased her down here, and then she, like, made this bluff with all these gangsters here. And then they actually show up. That's what I understand. It's clear that those people are from the Kapok gang. The crowd, realizing they're sitting ducks between the two most feared groups in town, are in panic and scared. I'm out of here. I'm not here either. Run for your lives. Mommy! And the crowd disappeared, just like that. Really, just like you said, Remy. The... The... The Kapok gang really appeared. What should we do, Ryzen? I was lying about the Kapok gang to make them panic. Okay. Okay. Say what? Come on, get out of here now. I feel tired after all that running with Sarah on my back, but I think it's okay to rest a bit. No, I shouldn't be tired now. This is nothing. I must take her to the meeting spot. Um, Brother Seven. Uh, what is it, Sarah? I try to smile and pretend that I'm fine. Why are those guys chasing us like that? Well, everyone wants the one billion. Money? Of course. Sarah looks upset when she heard that. Oh, so that's why you went all out protecting me? Yeah, I think we have a misunderstanding here. I had friends, lots of them. You can say that I was popular, but everything changes after the dad's company went bankrupt. They left me, one after another. I can't say anything, but it's actually pretty normal. It happens a lot. It was painful when they just left like that. I cried every single day back then. Everyone was my friend, but they changed. All because of money. No one cared about what I uh, what I do or what I feel right now. It's After Dad rebuilt his businesses from scratch, they gave me the friendly faces again. I know what they're after. I feel so disgusted when I see their expression. I really can't stand them. 
I kept on listening. Sarah needs someone right now. And then I stopped talking to them. I don't want to see them. I do rude things and I stop caring about them. I treated them as lowlifes and that's what they did to me anyway. Finally, I decided to quit my school and study at home. All I need was my family, the purest bond you can ever have. The bond of flesh and blood and I thought everything was perfect. Sarah stopped speaking. Her voice is becoming vague. Her tears started flowing. Your parents passed away. Hmm. There wasn't much difference between us after all. Both Sarah and I are having a hard time believing other people. We'll consider things thoroughly before deciding anything. So why do you believe me? I had to. <laughs> you want to know something? Sarah just listens. I won't say things like, in this world money isn't everything. Money is important. You see, Rena dumped me because of money. My sister's having trouble in her school because of money. My dad is gambling because he wants money. But when you look at it differently, Rena probably can't stand stand it because I can't buy her anything or treat her at dinner or some fuck. Fuck. Of course, why would she choose a better looking man with more money in his wallet? My sister is having trouble paying her school fees because we don't have the money. You see, very school needs money to keep running. My dad's a gambler and he does it because he said because he said he doesn't have any other skills. Perhaps he wants to be a good father and that could give money to his family. Silly, isn't he? Perhaps I can talk him without getting money in a good way next time. Let me try that again. Perhaps I can talk him talk to him about getting money in a good way next time. Perhaps outside they really just want the money, but inside they really want something else. That doesn't change the fact that they only want my money. Haha, uh, let me prove prove it to you then. I don't need your money. Liar. <laughs> Believe me. There's no way you will let me go without getting the money. There's one more rule. There's no one willing to help people without asking them for something in return. Sarah pouts. Okay, I will ask you something, all right. What? See what I say? Eh? I don't want your money, but but you'll have to play with my sister every day. You'll pay me. Yeah, you'll you'll pay me by being our friend. How about it? That. You don't want to. Not that I don't want it, but it's too easy. There must be a catch. I laugh when I heard her answer. Why are you laughing? So was that a yes or a no? Oh, okay. She pressed her face on my back, but it seems like she was bluff, bluff, blushing and wanting to hide it. I can't believe I just said that. I said something positive. I guess having a positive mind like Remy's isn't a bad thing after all. We arrived at the meeting spot. An old man was sitting on his wheelchair in the middle of the street. Behind her were four bodyguards in a black limo. At first, Sarah hesitated to come any closer to the old man. I pushed her back a little to make sure that, to make sure everything was would be fine. Slowly, slowly but sure, her small body was approaching the old man, shivering. Grandpa, Sarah. Grandpa's grandfather was trying to stand on his foot to reach his only granddaughter. But his foot won't let him. He fell down. Just before he hit the ground, one of the bodyguards supported him. Please be careful, sir. Sarah's grand, uh, grandfather won't listen to him. The only thing he could see right now was his granddaughter approaching him. Grandpa, are you really my grandfather? Of course. <clears throat> oh, God. My granddaughter. A teardrop was coming out of his old eyes. Slowly, he brought Sarah into his arms and hugged her. I approached them and asked the old man. Is, is this Sarah your granddaughter, sir? Oh. Sarah was letting the old man hug her without saying anything. Oh, Sarah, I miss you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, I never knew Grandpa's face. That's because my relationship your father, with your father wasn't good, but I I think he's Sarah's real grandfather. I see, say, see you, Sarah. I turned and walked away. At times like these, it's best for an outsider like me to stay away. Well, I do get something precious, the feeling when I can help her, her feels better than anything else. I don't regret not getting the one billion. Well, actually, I regret it a little, but I prefer my life having... Life than having dozens of people wants to kill me like before. Young man! I thought I won't turn back to him them again, but he called me, so it'll be rude not to. Thank you for taking Sarah back to me. Sarah's granddaughter approaches me. There's no problem at all, sir. Ha 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 ha. 
I laugh with a low tone. Sarah and her grand grandfather are people of different class than me. It's just common sense to keep my manners. Sarah is shy. She hide behind her grandfather. Hey, what's with the shyness for, girl? Are you not dealing with a complete you're not dealing with a complete stranger here, okay? I pat her head gently. As for the one billion, do you prefer it in cash or by periodic payments? Eh? The reward. I made a promise to Sarah, but that I won't take the money, sir. He said, and he shakes my hand. Hmm, one billion. Dub. What's this unpleasant feeling? I feel my brain warning me that there's something, something wrong going on here. Something's not right. Come on, Seven. I think there's something wrong going on. Something's out of place here. I grabbed Alfred's hand without realizing it. Um, young man? Oh, sorry, sir. Even though I said sorry, I continued grabbing his hand without loosening my grip. Even though he tried to release his hands, I continue the grabbing. I hate to be rude, but please let go of my hand right now. As our eyes met, Sarah's just standing there, not really understand of what's going on. I'm sorry, but before I do that, I want to ask you something. Are you really Sarah's grandfather? What do you mean? You must have a proof of some sort, right? Sarah, come here. Sarah hesitates, but then I yelled at her and said to her to come to me. Come here, now. Sarah. What's with that wheelchair for when you can walk on your own? You can walk normally. He realized that he could walk normally like nothing's wrong, but he totally forgot about his wheelchair. What do you want? Do you want to separate me with Sarah? Give her back. He's clearly angry now. But I won't believe him bef but I won't believe him before he can show me some proof that he's really Sarah's grandfather. Give Sarah back or else. Or else what? You'll tell your snipers to kill me? I don't know whether there are snipers or not, but I'm pretty sure you can afford one or two. His expression changed, his face saying, How'd you know? Uh, no doubt there's one or two snipers here. Behind his back is a tall building. It's possible that they're there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. So there are snipers. First, you didn't ask my name at all. Huh? He's getting confused. You didn't ask my name. If you had good intentions, you will ask me. I, I already know your name. Keep an eye on his bodyguards. Seems like they're ready to rip me apart any time. Second, you know that Sarah never saw you, yet you don't bring any physical evidence that you have a blood relation with Sarah. I just don't remember. Third, Sarah's carrying a passbook with a great sum of money. It's much bigger than the amount you offered. I'm afraid I just... I'm afraid you just want Sarah's money. Enough, Sarah. Come back here. Get away from that lunatic. Um, so you can go back to him, but only when he can show me a solid proof that he's your real grandfather. Okay, you ask for it. Alfred raises his hand. Before a second pass, a big caliber rifle is shot somewhere. My ears hurt by the long, loud bang. The bullet is passing through my leg. Ugh. Brother Seven! The grandfather walks slowly to Sarah in, to, in my hurt self. <laughs> Walking in my hurt self. Uh, you're lucky I didn't told them to shoot your head. Hey, <laughs> hey, you ungrateful kid. Look at this final boss music here. He kicked my body. I still feel the pain from the shot. Ugh. So I didn't think that this would end with a sniper shot through the leg. Sarah tried to stop him, but the uh, some bodyguards were grabbing her hands. They were, they were taking her away from me. Let me go. They left me behind, but of course they forgot something. Wait, you sure you don't want the password to Sarah's parents' safety box? I try to maintain my calmness even when this pain is killing me. Alfred turned around and asked me about it. What's the safety box you're talking about? Ah, I saw Sarah carrying a huge amount of money in the passbook. So huge, I don't even know what to call it. Trillion, billion, quadrillion, whatever. Well, one thing that I'm sure is the blue book is just a copy. The original one must be in the safety box somewhere. Just try guessing the 32 character password. Okay, that's the number. Okay. Search him. 
No use. I threw away the paper. I got the 32 numbers printed in my memory. Ugh. <laughs> Just ugh. Rolls eyes. Looks like he believed in me somehow. He whispered something to one of his bodyguards. Brother! Brother! My heart skipped a beat when I heard that voice. They caught my sister. Fortunately, I got your sister for something like this. Damn you! Now why don't you make it easy and tell me the password? Hmm? I just say random 32 divots to make him believe me. Now give me my sister back, damn it. Not so fast. I brought your sister with me, you know, just in case. Darn it. My leg still hurt from the bullet. I gotta get up. Tell the snipers to come back here. Oh, they left? The body, the bodyguard is whispering to Alfred. What? They disappeared? Suddenly, my cell phone rings. I took the call. Hello? Loudspeaker? I press the loudspeaker button. Ahem. We already know about your plans. Hand Sarah to us now or the gang will raid you here. Raid you there. Oh, no use trying to call your snipers. The guys from the bodyguards hiring service. Sabbat agency wiped them out as well. <laughs> Stop the laugh. It's disgusting. Uh, I want to do it sometimes, but you know, like those villains in the movie. And Remy and Raisin's voice can be heard. <laughs> Raisin. I I'm going to go with that now. It can be heard clearly by, uh, by all of us in the street. Hmm, get that kid. We're out of here. Yeah, you want to run away? The guys from Sabbath Agency are ready to shoot you with their own rifles. Yeah, that's right. But miss, we can't use this rifle. You idiot, don't say that you can't use it so clearly. We're using the loudspeaker mode here. Idiot. Idiotic fools, get that boy. Some bodyguards are closing in on me. Oh shit. This is quite a Dragon Ball Z riff here. I smashed his face with my fist. I rose up like the bloodlust demon would do in this situation. It's been a long time since I get this angry. Poor bodyguards, this is easy. What the fuck? I ran ignoring the pain on my leg to give the guy a punch before to give him an elbow drop. It landed successfully in his stomach. The monster. Hell? No, please. Oh, oh. Ah. I finished the last one with a kick to his stump. What? What? What, what the cock bleeding fuck? Dude, I thought I'd be dead back there. This guy the large caliber through the leg. Now he's standing up and beating up body. Get fuck this. No! Remy and Ryzen came. I think it won't be necessary. So I took care of all the problems there. Are you alright? He's fine. He is the legend who broke into the barricade of the Sabbath Agency people. That was like a century ago. Ouch. I tried to stop the bleeding on my leg with the torn cloth from my shirt. By the way, did you guys really got a hand from the Kapot Gang and the Sabbath Agency? Well, it's like that's... Remy was giving me an apology look. We have to pay them, because there were some people who won't give up chasing you. So I told the Kapot gang, if you can guard the area, we'll give you half the reward. Well, you know what'll happen next. And I didn't even get a penny. Yeah, I can see that. Took a look at the suitcase I found in the limo. It's empty. Well, what'll happen to me then? I walked to Sarah, who's covering her head from the fear. It's over. For now. Sarah didn't respond. What kind of, like, weird action game, like, Commando Terminator ending was that? Well, you saw me. Scary, am I? Sarah didn't say anything. I think it'd be best to leave this place now, but before that, I have to bring Sarah somewhere safe. Sarah, I know you're afraid of me, but you can follow me for now. Until we have something somewhere safe for you. I'm not afraid. Hmm? Huh? afraid of you anymore i'm disappointed again that people want me just for my money i tried to analyze her words so you aren't afraid of me then if i have to describe the fight no more like the massacre i just did i could be i could put the same level with a monster but i can't spend all the years with the kapot game for the laugh 
I'm not afraid. You're so cool back then. Well, I can only stand here waiting for help. I couldn't do anything. Of course, a princess that's wanting to be saved by the prince, right? Um, Remy asked for help to some guys. Can we pay them? What do you say? No problem for me. You hear that, Remy? You're saved. Remy runs towards Sarah and hugs her savior. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Hey, I should be thanking you. Thank goodness everyone, everything ended well. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. I look at Sarah. She's a super rich girl. We managed to save her this time, but who knows if there will be more people for wanting her. Sarah takes out, the pa takes out her passbook. We don't need this. After I pay for Sister Remy's guys, I'll throw this away. Can I have some of that for my trip outside of the town? Haha. <laughs> I leered at Ryzen. Raisin. I, um, but it's safe if you, if you just want to throw it away. Are you sure about this, Sarah? Yes, but I'll be Brother Seven's family member starting from today. Huh? You mean, like, adopt you as a child? When I'm 20, I'll marry him. God. Yeah, I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad. Huh? We congratulations. Hey, hey, you're noisy. Quit your screaming. And the laughter filled the rest of our day. Okay. That was fucking wild at the end there. That was better than I expected it to be. I set the bar pretty low. But... Good lord. Whoa. I'm just trying to unpack what I just read there. That's a copy right there. Is it just me or everybody else just looks so fucked up and making their funny faces? That doesn't make me laugh. Leaving me on imagination. I hope it doesn't get this video blocked. I'm gonna be so butthurt if it is. Yeah, every bit that they use, that's, that's pretty cool. So they... So there were snipers, you get shot, and then you beast mode like four, four guards and shit. And and then you get in trouble with the with the gangs and shit. Aid with the red pie fish. <laughs> God. Ah. Well, that's that then. <laughs>